This is not financial advice, not legal advice for entertainment and educational purposes only. And anything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. That being said, hit the like button, subscribe button, all that YouTube algorithm stuff so you get the videos that I put them out. See them thinking, see me analyzing that data. But like I tell every day, the data that released us is false. I mean, it gives a false narrative to market so we can make bad trading decisions. Listen, a lot of you guys think that I am too hard on Adam Aaron. Okay, you think that Adam Aaron goes to bat for retail investors every day that he eats, sleeps and defecates for retail investors. So here is my challenge to you guys. Okay, if Adam Aaron, who claims that there are no counterfeit shares, who claims that he's a silverback and he he works for retail investors. Why don't Adam Aaron file a blue sheet request with FINRA? Why doesn't he ask FINRA in an official letter asking for the electronic blue sheets for all the AMC trades for the past 36 months? And if, as Adam Aaron says, there are no counterfeit shares, then the blue sheets will verify this information. And we can go on with our lives. And you know what it would do? It would create confidence in Adam Aaron from investors like myself who thinks that his decisions and the timing of his decision of his decisions are not meant to help retail investors, are not meant to help pension funds are not meant to help institutions that follow the rules. His decisions and the timing of his decisions tells me that he is there to help the bad actors who are naked shorting AMC. So Adam Aaron, if you want to gain the confidence of a majority of retail investors, make an official request to FINRA for the blue sheets for AMC and GME from all all these, well, I won't say bad actors, all these traders, all these market makers, all these entities that have been moving the stock. And then once you get that blue sheet information, share it. Share that blue sheet information with retail investors so we can go through it and come to, the, come to the, a conclusion. But do you think Adam Aaron wants retail investors' confidence? Do you think Adam Aaron is going to request that FINRA turn over the blue sheets trading data of AMC? No, he won't. No, he won't. You know why? Because everything Adam Aaron does is to benefit Adam Aaron, to benefit the board, and to benefit the bad actors that are naked shorting AMC. Okay? And all Adam Aaron has to do to prove me wrong, all he has to do, request the blue sheets on the trading of AMC over the last three years and then share that information, make it available to the public. Very, very simple. Very, very simple. But he's not going to do it or he's going to claim that he did it and FINRA didn't release it. Anyway, please leave some comments. Tell me what you think. Do you think you would have more confidence in Adam Aaron's role as CEO of AMC if he requested the blue sheets trading of AMC from FINRA? Anyway, have a great day. God bless. And I appreciate y'all on his journey with me.